Welcome to TripMavens.com. My name is Arvind. We're going to go and continue on with just doing some uh, uh, basic uh, form building. I've got a marks a lot, but I'm actually going to switch that out and use one of my dry markers, the ones that are sort of uh, going out. So once again, I'm just going to start off with uh, making some quick shape. Let's just say that I have a profile view, something like this. We want to put that in perspective. It's got a little bit of a crown. Once again, just a basic shape. And we're going to take this and we're going to take this into perspective. So See, I've got my guidelines going into perspective, and let's see, we've got we got this crown here. I'm trying this concave shape, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. If I go to here when I'm projecting this thing out. You're not gonna see this this plane. Now the interesting thing, I'm just going to get the center line of this. To do that you connect the corners. If you got my DVD, you'll understand why being able to draw straight lines helps you. More or less the center right there, the center point. So now we know where the center is. From here, what we can do is to. Now, as we work through this, I'm going to again just sort of template out my lines to see where I'm going to be adding some details or something. So let's just say <clears throat> I'll just put this triangular shape, and then I'll add a little crown here. So I know I need to project this one back, this line back into perspective. Again, we're just building shapes. So this is transferring over to here. Now this is kind of an optical illusion because uh, the way I've got this, depending on how you're treating it, either, either the, the line is, when you're looking at it from a front view perspective, these are the things you may want to consider when you're drawing something. Either your line is vertical and it's just tilting backwards or you've got an angle to it and those are the things that you want to decide and how you do that is what's going to change what this looks like in perspective on the other side right because this will have an angle and it just won't be as drastic well I'm sorry actually it'll have an even larger angle as it's foreshortened into the distance. What we're doing right now is just having a, a small vertical. So we're going to keep it simple. This one is a little off. This should be around here. Okay. There we go. And let's just say that you want to. So what you see here is this is about we break this into thirds. You got something like this. This is essentially what I'm doing here. That's what your side view profile is looking like. And like I said here, what we're doing is just building the shapes, building the forms. Now you can add a crown 
And if you'd seen my DVD set, uh, I explained this thing also further. But if you want to start adding crowns, uh, now you're projecting something onto this plane. Okay. So now you've got this crown surface, which means you may want to come back, double up. As I estimate the center line here, this is what I'm doing estimating the center and then this is going to project out here and then I'll add another crown to the surface so what happens here I'm joining all this this has a radius this does not have a radius. This is actually a sharp edge, but you can actually come in here and round this as well. So now this whole area becomes a radius. This is just connecting a tangent, so which is fine. All this area ends up, this line will end up going away. If I redraw this line and retrace over what I've done, that goes away. So these are just simple practice techniques that you can use. You don't have to draw an entire vehicle. You don't have to draw an entire shape. Uh, and let's just add this crown. Now since this is concave here, I'm sorry, it's not concave. It's actually concave going this way, according to a section. And you can draw through these lines. This is all really good techniques for you to train your brain to see all of this stuff. It is making sure that you're sketching through your lines so you can see what's happening on the other side. Your brain has to rationalize the entire shape. The only way it's going to be able to do that is if you uh, follow through and try to draw everything on here. Okay. And then you can do anything you want from this point. You can you can add a section through this area and say that well this got a slight crown to it. This has got a slight crown to it. And you describe every section. And then when you come to this area you can say well uh, there's a, a little bit of a chamfer here and then we want to add some concavity. So you're essentially getting the section through here. And then I can add my final section in this area. And let's just say that this is a character line on your car surface. And that's how you do that. So you describe, now you just successfully describe that form, that shape. And then this sort of returns back here. So, so all you're doing is just building the section, building the section, section by section. And that's how you, you sort of train your, your brain to understand uh, these forms. And when you finish off with something like this, you can go back, you can overlay, take some tracing paper, and you can go back and just keep building on what you've already done. So you can just say that, well, I want to take the front end and I want to add another shape to it. And then you just start to analyze your shapes. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this particular video on how to build forms, similar to what we did on the previous one. Uh, and what's really nice even about when you're doing these things, you can start to, to look at, well, let me look at other shapes. Let me look at um, a seat, for instance. What do the seat cushions look like? In fact, this looks uh, quite a bit like a, a cushion on a seat, <laughs> more than the hood of a car, except for that, of course. But so that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that you get in the habit of practicing uh, form creation, whether you are in industrial design, uh, whether you're a hobbyist and you just like to draw and, and just expand your mind. This is what 
all this is about is being able to expand your mind a little bit and training your brain to see things that it doesn't normally see. So I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. DrivenMavens.com. Have a good one.